I thought I had it all figured out. I grew up in church, I was baptized as a baby, even went to Catholic school up until about fourth grade. For me though, God was always off to the side. I didn't necessarily trust him. I wasn't giving up control. I wasn't ready for that. I didn't really understand what it meant either. I just thought doing good things would, would get me by and, and get me in the door. But as I look back, I can see where God was drawing me closer to him. Uh, my girlfriend at the time, Heather, had brought me to Northridge about four years ago, and it was unlike any church I had been to. And it was totally different, and I liked it a lot. Uh, I wanted to come back. I, I felt a draw to come back. Um, I started hearing things for the first time about being baptized as an adult and having a real personal relationship with God. But even still, I was fighting it, and I thought believing in God was the same as putting God first. So Heather and I got married, and as it turns out, believing in God and putting God first in your marriage and your life is not the same. We had problems in there because I had this internal struggle with God. He was fighting for control, I was fighting for control. It, it wasn't working out. And our marriage struggled so much that it eventually led to divorce and left me lonely, broken, and lost. And you know, I later learned, even, even a couple years later, that Heather had not stopped praying for me and my salvation. I got diagnosed with COVID late December 2020, and at that point I was forced to listen to God because I was isolated. I couldn't do things to, to keep my mind busy, to keep away from Him and to keep pushing Him away. He was coming after me like never before. And He was speaking to me loud and clear, and He was saying, turn to Him, allow Him to be the leader, and I could receive the life He had for me or turn away and die. I had done it my way for years, and it had cost me everything. I always thought coming to Jesus was a gradual thing for me, but during that isolation, I knew that I had to give up control. So about six days in, I got on my knees and I prayed to Jesus to be the forgiver of my sins and the leader of my life. I surrendered my life to him. He found me lost and broken and brought me home. I now wake up with hope and the feeling that I have a purpose. I'm not depressed every day. Yeah, I have my moments, but I know that God is here for me and, and he's helping me push through. My perspective has changed to align with God's word and plan for my life. He's changing me, I can feel it. So today I'm getting baptized to tell the world that I'm following Jesus. Steve, during this pandemic, millions of people have lost their lives, but God used it in your life to reveal himself to you and to give you the gift of eternal life. So I met you just a few days after you placed your faith in him. And every time I get to see you, I'm blown away by all the steps of obedience to Christ you've taken since the last time I've seen you. You are fully devoted to him. And, oh man, Steve, <laughs> it's so exciting to be here with you. And so you are a sponge for all God's trying to teach you about himself, about you, and about others. And I'm excited to see what he's going to continue to do in and through you. So based on your profession of faith in Christ alone for salvation, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.